Okay, welcome to lesson four. We're going to make um, something called funky letters. I'm going to go and open up a new sprite and go into the letters area. I'm going to go and make my name, which is Glenn. So I'm going to start choosing G L E N N. I'm going to get rid of the cat. Um, and once I put my name in, it should look like this. When I go to the G, what I'm going to do is just go and choose to start with. Um, when green flag clicked and then I'm going to put a forever loop and then get it move and turn so I'm just going to see how, what it's going to look like there it's going to spin round when I when I hit the green flag instead I'm going to change this now to using the letter G so when I type in G it will turn what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to use the glide tool because I need to reset everything later so you need to go and get the glide tool and then point in the direction of 90 so you can see when I double click on that the, the G goes back to its original position and it glides for one second when we put this together, I'm going to come back to those in a moment I'm going to leave those two blue blocks there, leave those two blue blocks alone what I'm going to do now is change that green flag to a key and like I said I'm going to choose the letter G so that each letter of my name represents represents the key to be pressed to make the letter move I don't have to do this again I can make it copy so I just drag that into the next letter so you can see there's a copy there and I can change the G letter to a to the L or whatever your name is I can take out some of these blue blocks and because I want to change I want to make it do something different. So this this next letter I'm gonna make it grow in size there and I'm gonna make it do something else. So I might make it spin around. I might make it there, wait one second and then do something else. It's entirely up to you what you can do here. You can make it as crazy as you like. And just like in the G I had glide for one second because I need to use this to reset everything back to the beginning, back to how it was at the beginning. So you can see I move the L back down, and then for one second it will glide to the right position. I also want to make it point in the right direction. And also I want to this one here because I'm changing the size. I want to get get it back to a 100% the original size it was to start with. So as I just click here you can see it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and as it's turning and turning it becomes enormous and I just want to double click on set size to 100% to get it back to the original original size and get it turning the right way. There we go. So remember you can pause this at any time and I'm going to drag that and I'm going to change that to an E. Again, glide for one second, point in the right direction. With the E, what I might do this time is do something completely different. I might make it draw something. So when I click, when I hit the E key on my on my keyboard, I am going to make it draw something. And like we did in previous lessons when we made it draw before, we can put the pen down and we set it to a particular size. Remember you can change the colour, you can change the size of the pen, you can do whatever you want. Instead of having forever, I'm going to make it repeat, say, ten times, and then pick the pen up at the end. And then inside that repeat, I need to go and put some move blocks. So I pick up the move blocks, so maybe move ten and change direction. Um, in the next move, I can make it go anywhere I want. You might want to put a, a if on edge bounce here, if you want. What we're going to do next is go and change the background, because the background's a bit boring at the moment. I want a picture in there. So I'll go to import background, like we did last lesson. And I go and choose a background. I'm going to go and choose this field, this hay field. And I don't need that white background anymore, so I can delete that. In here, I need a script. So just like you put a script into all the letters, in the background, the background can have a script as well. 
So what I'm going to do here is I want a I want a reset. So I'm going to put in when space clicked when I hit the space bar. I'm going to go into the pen. I'm going to clear the pens because I don't want because remember it's going to be drawing. So I want to clear the pens, and I'm going to do a thing called a broadcast. Now I'll, I'll explain what a broadcast is actually in the lesson. It's a bit like a telephone call. I'm going to call this reset because I want to reset everything. I want to broadcast from here, the space bar, and I want to reset all the letters at once. So I go into my G. What I'm going to do now is in the G, so when the G gets the phone call to say reset, so I pop down here and say when I receive reset, I want it to point in the right direction and glide just like I showed you a moment ago and then I can stop all scripts, so I want to stop everything, I want it to stop spinning around, I want it to do pretty much what I want it to do and go back to the beginning like this it's spinning around and then bring it back to the beginning and reset everything there we go now then I can go and do that again in my L and E and N and N so I want to go into my L when I receive and then stop go into my E and do the same thing when I receive reset stop all and in the same in my N, and the other set in the same in the N as well. Remember, the, your, the, your letters can be as funky as you like. You can get them doing all sorts of things. And straight into the last letter as well. So it's entirely up to you what you do in, in your letters. Now then. As a little bit of an extension in my background, um, I want to add more backgrounds. So I'm going to go and add another background. I might go to the baseball field, on the football field. What I'm going to do now is when I hit the green flag forever, I'm going to make my background change all the time. So I'm going to go to next background. And what I might do is make it wait one second either side. And so when I double click on this, it will change the background automatically forever. And this is what you should have. You should have all your, all your letters doing something. And obviously that E will draw something a little bit later. Now it's up to you to make your name dance. Can you make can you make it sing too? What about some music? Can you put some music in there? Can the background change as well? Can you make the background blow up? Can you make it change colour?